Well, good morning, ladies and gents. Today, I'm in sunny Suffolk, outside a property called Mulberry House. Um, it's one of these houses that is hard to believe is here. It's bang in the center of the small town of Eye, set in 0.8 of an acre, and a lot of the garden is walled. So it is very much tucked away. I've been dealing with properties around here for well over 20 years, and truth, never knew this was here. So we'll have a look out around the garden first of all. You can see it's a pretty garden. It's got these beds here. You've got the yew trees, there's aconites growing underneath. There's plenty of parking. And then you've got this wonderful folly with the steps leading up. I haven't got the key to get inside today, but I'll just show you through the window. There we go. Fun thing to have. And that's a castellated roof as well. We're gonna look around the outside first of all, and then I'll take you in. So the garden is in sort of pockets. Plenty of areas of lawn. And I'd say the, it's not fully enclosed by the garden wall, but pretty much. So you've got a range of outbuildings here. Got an outdoor pool. And these various outbuildings. Not necessarily the prettiest of buildings, but they provide some useful storage space. And that's like the pool house in there. greenhouse area and general storage as well as the main entrance there is a second access down the back here so you can walk into center of town without going off your grounds so this area here and then there's a gate at the far end For those who don't know, know I, it's a pretty little market town. It's a decent range of facilities. And if you're looking to commute, you're only six miles from the rail station back in Dis. So there's the centre, there's the, sorry, the rear of the house. And this low level section on the back is the annex. And you've got storage, you've got plenty of parking. And what overall, it's a good looking house in a great position. So we're going to go back around the front. And we'll take you inside. There we are, back at the front. Surprising house, it's uh, timber framed, but then they've had this extension on the front in the Georgian times. Okay, so let's go in. Okay, so this is the hallway. It runs from front to back, boarded floor. And then we've got a reception room to either side, sitting room, this lovely bay window on the front. It'll match the one in the dining room you'll see in a moment. Pretty fireplace. And nice touches such as the corner sink. It is a very elegant room. Leading straight out to the back is a sort of extension area to the sitting room. It could be home office, study. And then further through to the conservatory. Lovely place to spend a bit of time. Looks out into the rear garden and you can request all your things to be brought through 
and the serving hatch into the kitchen. All right, we'll go back through this way. Past the cellar on the right, and you've got understairs covered on the left. And we're back into the hallway again, and through to the dining room. It sort of fairly much mirrors the sitting room with this lovely deep bay window, with the full height windows, fireplace with red brick, and uh, has the wood burner. And then you've got arches to either side and that deep recess there as well. So going through to the back, into the oldest part of the property. This has all the timber frame revealed. You've got the kitchen. And the headroom throughout is pretty good, must be said. Lovely big pamet tile floor. And then we're into this area at the back, which is sort of the working area, the laundry. And then we've got a boot room area, which sort of links, links the house onto the annex. And we'll just have a quick look in here as well, while we're on the ground floor. And in here, we've got a bedroom. I think uh, being told this was uh, an old veterinary practice at one point, so this was the veterinary area. Shower room and sitting room. Ideal in many ways, you want to run a home office, business from home, this would be absolutely perfect because it's got its own separate door and to the back there. So that works very, very well. Right, back through the kitchen and we'll whiz up the stairs. Bottom of the stairs, we've got cloakroom. And up we go. Elegant traditional stairs. We're going to the front bedrooms first of all. Unusual point here. Look at the ceiling. It's actually domed. Don't often see that. The big wardrobes on either side, what would have been the fireplace. And then that's a view out the front. So despite the fact that you are in the middle of eye, it's incredibly private here. Taking the rooms as they come. Bathroom. And then we've got the second bedroom, very similar to the first. Again, this domed ceiling and deep cupboards either side of the chimney breast. The rooms in here are all pretty generous in size. This is the third room. This one's on the back of the house. And you've got a shower in the corner. And the view out of the back of this one is into the rear courtyard. And you can just sort of glimpse part of the garden as well. Couple more rooms to go. Main bathroom. And the final room, right on the back of the house. This is in the old timbered part. So again, generous size double bed, or double bedroom, I should say. And this one has the benefit of this uh, dressing room as well. 
Could be another occasional bedroom if you prefer. And that's what we've got. I'll just give a view out of there. You can look across there and you can just see the town hall, the spire in the distance. So Mulberry House in I, and we look forward to arranging viewings for you.